Hi guys, I hope all of you are doing good out there. I have decided that I'm going to start a loneliness epidemic awareness project. Sometimes I like to call it a crusade. Now it's not going to necessarily mean making a bunch of videos, hard charging down the mountain, or super intense workouts where I let out a bunch of aggression on my struggles with loneliness. It's going to more simply be about blogging about my struggles with loneliness and I highly encourage other people out there who are also battling loneliness to share their struggles so that way more awareness can be brought to this epidemic of loneliness because to really know what it's like to be lonely you have to experience it for yourself. Severe loneliness is one of those things I honestly feel can bring a person down to their knees and there are a lot of factors that can potentially uh, lead to someone experience loneliness and that is of course being socially awkward and that can result uh, from mental illness uh, and it can also sometimes result from uh, being born with certain conditions that make it more difficult to not be so socially awkward and it can lead, uh, be caused from divorce, uh, death of a significant other, loss of a job or maybe moving into a new big city and so there seems to be a lot of talk out there about this loneliness epidemic and how it can be just as harmful as smoking 15 cigarettes a day and just as harmful as obesity and that it can increase the mortality rate by 50% compared to individuals who have uh, healthy relationships. Now there seems to be a lot of talk out there but I think it's more than high time we start taking some action on the issue. And with that being said, I'd like to really encourage people out there to share their stories because it's time to quit doing the talk to talk and it's time to walk the walk because I definitely feel like there is a lot of data out there. There is a science involved when it comes to establishing relationships and maintaining them. And I think it's high time we start tapping into this data and tapping in and to this science so that maybe we can come out with more enhanced programs uh, to help those better their social skills, better mental health treatment, so that way we can hopefully ultimately reduce the rates of mental illness and hopefully even potentially reduce the rate of suicide. And so I'm going to be making a series of videos and I'm going to try to do my best to keep them under four minutes long because whenever I stumble or I make a mistake, it becomes a pain to try to redo a much longer video. So that's just kind of what I wanted to share with you guys for right now. I thank you all for watching. Peace out.